guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be like the most funny thing ever because I I just made two serious videos saying thank you, and then one saying goodbye salty because he's quitting anime dimensions. Uh, now I'm making don't make these mistakes. So I actually already tried making this video, but I was naming bad. Uh, I was naming like really m mistakes that don't really matter. So. I'm gonna focus on the important ones this time. So first off, we got um, buying mythic cards before you're at the max dimension. Now, if you're not at the max dimension, then don't buy any cards. You can drop them, yeah, but don't buy any. Let's say you're level like 30. Once you hit level 60, this this mythic card you just bought, useless. You're not gonna use it, even if it has like the most god tier spot stats possible. I don't think you need it after that. Because you're like two dimensions above or something. That mistake can cost you so much, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> um, if you do get a really good card, or a mythic card that has really good stats, once you hit level 131, spend raid tokens to upgrade it. And something people don't know is how to upgrade cards. You should know how to do this. It's pretty simple. Let's say you have a card, um... How do you upgrade it? Do you hit upgrade? Yeah, kinda. Once you get it to level 25 out of level 25, instead of saying upgrade, it'll say level up. And once you click that, it'll go to level 131. No matter what level it is, it'll go to 131. Wait, this would be so awesome. Be so awesome. It'd be so cool to have a level 131 Mega Man card. That would be insane. Anyways, one of one of the huge mistakes, I, one of the huge mistakes I see people make is um, awakening Rimmer. Where's Rimmer? Don't do it! Don't do that! Even though it's only 2,000 gems, don't do that! Awaken Saber. It's cooler and better. A lot of people don't know the difference between Saber and Remaru, and I'm gonna go ahead and say the difference. Yes, they both give 12% attack, but Saber has twice the DPS as Remaru. Remaru does around 40 to, yeah, around 40,000 DPS, and Saber does almost 70,000 DPS. And if you're old or really young, DPS means damage per second. Another big mistake is buying bad characters. Now, of course, this is a no-brainer. Why would, like, it's so obvious you shouldn't buy bad characters. But, it's more common with Robux characters, and specifically gem characters for some reason. People keep buying Primordial and he's mid. I'll just come out and say it, he's mid. Yamato's better. This one Saber's way better. Uh, who else is... Power, just better, just better. Anyways, don't buy a character like Aizen. Even if this video is a year old, this still applies. Every Robux character, mm -mm -mm, don't buy it. If it's bad, at least, wait till I make a showcase, specifically me, or someone else like Xpit. That's about it. All the other showcases are pretty mid. Everyone else makes pretty mid showcases. I do the showcases with Celestial, pretty detailed. And Spit does the showcases without Celestial, but they're also very detailed. But uh, yeah, just wait until a showcase comes out. If a new character, brand new Robux character comes out, and you don't know whether to buy it or not, don't just buy it to test it. Wait for someone else. Wait for me, Spit, me or Spit, maybe even me, maybe even Spit, to make a showcase on it. And if it's good, you buy it. If it's not, I don't do what it's do something else. Another mistake I see people make. That rhymes is uh gear 5 luffy and dio and ichigo actually ichigo's not terrible for dimensions but buying these three pets don't do that if you want a boss damage pet get tondro he's the meta boss damage pet if you want a dimension pet get kermy she's meta for dimensions the only problem is it's a it's a 50 50 chance if you're on pity to get kermy or aqua and aqua's mid Another mistake is using, like, Dio over a Christmas Saber. I see a lot of people do that. Uh, 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 unless you have, like, Vicious Legendary on Dio and, like, Regeneration Common on Christmas Saber. 
She's gonna want to use Christmas Saber. She's way better for dimensions and way better for damage, like boss damage. She, even if you don't have a pet, like a good pet, like Tondro Kermi, she's still like meta. She's still a meta. She's either as good as Dio or maybe even still a little bit better. It's not just her energy gain that makes her good, and that's what people don't understand about Kermi. She does good DPS, she has low cooldowns, I think, kind of low. But uh, anyways, let's move on to the next thing that people are really that bad at. Buying this accessory in particular, just this specific accessory. Don't get it. Um, there are other accessories that are pretty bad, just like this one. Um, this one's terrible. It just heals you. A lot of people assume that's good because they die a lot. Maneuver Gear is still better for boss damage. And probably for dimensions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Maneuver Gear is meta for dimensions right now, I'm pretty sure, at least. Uh, beast Tails? Uh-uh, don't use those. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, there's another chainsaw. Nuh-uh, don't use that. Another mistake is buying raid tokens with Robux. This one's not really common, but some people do it. And it's really dumb because you can just use the... Uh, AFK raid method or just actually just do raid but with the AFK raid method you can just get like two to three thousand tokens a day it's pretty it's pretty awesome um, and you you just save twenty dollars another mistake I see people make man that rhymes um, is selling old cards now of course, this is harmless, um, unless you have a really good card. One time, I had a card that was level 83, and it was back in the level 116 dimension. And you could upgrade cr cards. You could upgrade, cr you could upgrade cards. It was pretty awesome. And so I went and searched through my cards, and look what I found. Oh yeah, I found this. Now, if I was stupid and sold it. Then, then I wouldn't have this card. This is my best card. Not in my opinion. I, I feel like this one's better. But most people tell me this one's better. But if you sell your old cards that have good stats. Specifically. If you sell your old cards that have good stats. What are you doing? You can upgrade them. Wait, didn't I already go over this? Kind of. You can upgrade them. If I went over this twice, I'm sorry. I probably have Alzheimer's. Anyways. Um, I already explained how to level up cards. Once it's level 25 out of 25, just hit level up. And there you go. You got the option to level it up or not. Oh, no. That thing ate his caviar. Another mistake that I see people make is not caring about stat points. Stat points are so unbelievably broken. They can double your damage, if not triple your damage and rate. If you have 40k stat points with like really good cards and a really good accessory, and even divine trait, you're not going to be doing that much damage. At the most, with perfect stats, as long as you have like 20k stat bonuses, with perfect cards, perfect accessories, celestial trait, partner on both of your assists, you're going to be doing like 10 billion at the most with new cards. Maybe a tad more, maybe a tad less. Anyways. Stat bonuses help a lot. Crit chance, cool introduction, crit damage, mob damage, boss damage. It's a lot of boss damage right there. Attack, crit chance, cool introduction, crit damage, mob damage, boss damage, cisco introduction, crit chance, cool introduction, attack. And it's just the list keeps going on. The most useful one, in my opinion, is probably the 100,000 stat points. Um, it heals 1% of damage dealt to bosses. Now, this means if you do like a million damage, you'll get healed like 1% of that. You'll get healed like 10k HP. Wait, yeah. So for the people that do 100 million damage easily within a matter of seconds, you can just regen so easily. You can get like, you, you just don't die. And another mistake that people make is like saying Reaper is better than Slayer is not. If you get, if you have Slayer, and you roll Reaper, don't use Reaper. Sure, Reaper, yeah, it's pretty cool. People overestimate it, though. It's not better for... It's way worse for Raid. It's like 10 or 20% worse for Raid. But they're like the same for Dimensions. So, not cool, dude. And another mistake is people using, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, vampire 
or Godspeed, I forgot which one it was, they're both terrible, they use it over like Vicious Legendary or Executioner Legendary, don't do that, don't underestimate how good Vicious and Executioner actually are, they're still pretty good, sure Mythic Traits are maybe double better, close to double at least, sure Celestial is a little over double better, but those traits are still good. People used to use them all the time. Anyways, if you want to see a part 2 to this video, let me know by leaving a like. And commenting, because I'm usually people leave likes anyways, so... Yeah, you're probably going to have to comment. You're probably going to have to comment, I want to see more of this! With an exclamation point. There's no point or mark. I forgot. Anyways, my final tip, for this video at least, is going to play... And then creating a slime dimension and doing easy, uh, yeah, it's easy to get that boss damage accessory. Are you stupid? I know it's as good as Maneuver Gear. It's a 0.1% chance. That's like a 1 in 1,000. Okay? It's more rare than the, I think, the Maneuver Gear. It's more rare than doing that. So just get a maneuver gear. You can buy it with raid tokens way sooner than you'll drop this. You can drop the maneuver gear way sooner than you'll drop this. Don't! Don't do it! <laughs> don't do it! I get really annoyed when people do that because they're really serious about it too. They're like, dude, I've done like 200 runs and I haven't dropped it. You could have been doing the max dimension and getting legendary cards that would have been on your team. And you could have also been doing raids if you're not already doing them. And you could have been getting the maneuver gear. So if you really want a boss damage accessory, which I think is like, you have to have one now. Because I'm pretty sure it's new meta for dimension and new meta for raid. Just do it! Just to get the maneuver gear. It's way better. Well, they're the same. But it's way easier. So don't make that mistake. I get really mad when people do that. But, uh, yeah, I'll most likely make a part two to this video, or just, like, not a part two, but kind of a part two. I'll see you guys in the next video, where I hold the world record for the most dots owned. Goodbye.